What's up y'all? This is Daniel with Pride of the Southland Kennels. Today we got a week four update of the Teleco and Irish pups. Uh, four weeks old, that means they're gonna get their first meal today and then they're gonna get their second round of dewormings and I'll walk y'all through that. Uh, everyone always asks what I feed my dogs and or the pups and how I do it, so I figured I'd just show everybody, answer those questions ahead of time. So they got two cups of uh, diamond puppy food in the purple bag. I run uh, water through the coffee maker to get it warm and I put about three three tablespoons of this puppy milk replacer in there just to give them a little bit of a boost. Uh, I'll let that soak for about 30 minutes, let it get soft. That way they can chew it because uh, that'll get them used to eating solid foods, you know. So they're, as of right now, they've been just used to mama's milk. Also today we'll be doing our four week deworming. Last week we did a three week, uh, or excuse me, a three day uh, series of the Fembendazole. Uh, this week, we're going to switch it up and do a three-day series of the Parentel Pamo. On the six-week uh, mark, we'll go back to uh, the Fembendazole. Now, this is the same thing that's in Panicure C, uh, the powder version that you get from the vet. Uh, this is a lot cheaper. This is a uh, 1,000 milliliters right here for about $135. That'll, that'll last you a, a good while. Got our syringes here for the pups. But uh, yeah, so now I'll take you outside and uh, show y'all the pups. This is a four week old update. All right, we got, the, we got the pups out here. The food has soaked up the liquid and gotten soft for them. So I'll let them get nice and full. And then uh, I'll go back through once they calm down. I'll go back through and uh, showcase them individually like I did in the last video but I just wanted to show everybody of course this is their first meal so some of them not really sure what to do so I'll just keep moving them back but uh some of them's taking right to it I apologize for the shakiness but look at this little girl's brindling right there that's just a pretty cool pattern I got a little male and female up underneath me right now but we got seven over there we got this big brindle male right here figure he'd be ready to eat then we got this little female behind me sorry for the shakiness of the camera but usually once they see their litter mates eating They'll just take right to it. So they're gonna get nice and full. Most of them's taking right to it. We'll let them eat, let them calm down a little bit, get nice and full. Come out here and showcase them. And then, uh, then I'll start their four week worming. <laughs> That's a little male up there on top barking. Looks black in the video, but he's, uh, he's a, a dark brindle. Same way with this little female right here. Um, it's hard to tell when they're eating, but the two predominantly white ones are males. Don't believe we're gonna have any females available as of now. I think I'm gonna keep one. Uh, so we do have four males available. Um, the guy on the list for the male, I only have one guy that's in a deposit. He has uh, chosen male number four. So, the two predominantly white ones are available. This darker brindle one's available. And that brindle one's available. And let me tell you, between the males, there's not a whole lot of difference to me. Uh, if I was choosing a male on this litter, I would have a tough decision on my hands. and I. A lot of people are going to say, well, he's just trying to be a salesman when he says that. But no, that's just the truth. I don't add nothing to it or take anything away from what I see in these dogs, even though they're mine. You know, I, if there's something I'm not happy with, I, I'll make it known. <laughs> what are you doing, little buddy? And two little Brendan males. <laughs> Got good muzzles on them. 
their teeth are coming in. You know, and like I said, uh, all the males are uh, pretty close in size, pretty close in structure. The only thing really different in them is their coloring. Some's got more color in them than others. Well, there they are, guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna let them finish their meal up, and then we'll go back through them each pup. That way, everybody can see the how they've progressed because these dogs are changing these pups are changing every week you know they're progressing and filling out a little bit more taking shape learning a little bit more about their attitude i just don't see any that's just really rambunctious right now they're all pretty mellow which is what i uh, aim for don't really have a use for a high strung dog i don't want them uh, of course it's still early too but yeah, I'm going to cut it off, let them finish the, uh, their meal, and I'll come back and put them on display for y'all. All right, here's little male number one, white with the brindle spot on him. This grass is tall, so don't think he's short-legged. I mow this on about four and a half inches, so this right here is male number one. He's nice. This right here is male number two, the Brendel and White male. He's pretty friendly. He's vocal. <laughs> Try to get a decent video of him. Come here, boy. That right there is male number two. This right here is male number three, White with the two Brendel patches, one over his right eye and one on his left side. Another solid little dog. They're all friendly. We've been handling them. That's male three. This right here is male number four. White and brindle. I need to refer back to my emails, but I'm almost positive this little guy right here is not available. But I'm going to show him for the buyer anyways. Male number four. He's kind of chill. A little unsure. Setting him off over here. There he goes to the side. Good looking dog. Really good looking dog. That's male four. Last but not least, this right here is male number five, dark brindle and white. He's another one that's a little vocal. When you come into the kennel where he hears a bump, he's willing to speak up. That's male number five. This right here is female number one. Females are a lot smaller. Well, not a lot smaller, but they're definitely visibly smaller than the males this right here is female number one i got an eye on her this right here is female number two uh very close in size to female number one not sure which one's smaller but this right here is female number two dark brindle and white this right here female number three white and brindle uh, she's one that I got my eye on as well. I got my eye on all of them. I'm gonna make my pick as soon as I can. So y'all on the female list, just bear with me. Um, female number three. And last but not least on the females, female number four. She's the one I said had the, the pretty brindling on her. That is female number four. If anyone's interested in putting up a deposit down, email me at pride of the Southland Kennels at outlook.com. Right here's the sire with his goats. This is Daniel with Pride of the Southland Kennels. Until next time, thank y'all for watching.